A sad day for the tweaking community when known tweaker named Corvi releases a PC optimization guide with fake bend marks. Most of the comments are skibidi glazing, and others are too vulgar to even say out loud. At the start of the video, Corvi shows us these benchmarks. Getting benchmarks out of the way first, we have ourselves an unoptimized system here. By the time I finished, almost broke 900 average with 626. Now, there's no way to increase your 1% lows with 266 FPS, or increase the average FPS with 363 by doing some tweaks. That's impossible. He's claiming doing this guide gave him an overall FPS boost of 826. That's just crazy. Corvo doesn't show the benchmarking or say how he tested, and it's also showing two different types of results with different metrics, which is a big, big red flag. And I'm starting to think the reason why these tweakers don't show when they benchmark or more importantly do any of this testing live is because it's all fake. Trusting a tweaker's print screen of his FPS boost they claim to get is like you believing your mom when she says that you're the most handsome boy in the world. Of course she's gonna say that bro. She made you. And she also probably just loves you and then it doesn't count. Anyway, right now I've already wasted like five hours following this guide and benchmarking the FPS live. Link in the description if you don't watch the whole thing. Uh, so it's a short recap of the live stream, uh, the testing and the result. We started on default Windows 11, 24 h 2 with the usual apps installed. Also had PBO and RAM OC in the BIOS. We are running a 9800X 3D paired with 32 gigabytes of RAM and a 5070 from ASUS. To test FPS, I queued into a solo custom, landed at my main drop, started Camp from X with a timer on 180 seconds, then rotated the same path in three different games to minimize run variance, and then aggregated those three runs to compare before and after doing the guide. I also did a 60 second free build test in creative, just to be safe. So this is the before, and... This is that right? <laughs> Yeah, are you still watching? Bro, I, was, I waited too long, bro. I'm sorry. All right. It's getting really late here, and I should definitely just go to bed. All right, let's continue. My FS got obliterated. This guide cooked my PC. Checking the line chart, it's almost like Corvus guide stabbed my PC, and I was bleeding to death which is pretty sad. And then comparing the results in the Analyze tab, I am not sure what's going on with the lows, but I'm guessing this is why Corvi showed different tabs and metrics in his own benchmarks, because the same thing happened to him. As I said before, I'm not a tweaker or a pro or anything here. I'm ju I just play Fortnite, and I'm trying to find tweaks that boost performance. This is not one of them. Checking the 60 second Freebrain Creative, we get pretty much the same results in both the bar and line charts. And in the Analyze tab, it's basically the same. After seeing this, I actually thought that this was an April Fool's joke. And I went in and checked like what date did he post the video but it was the 7th of April so it shouldn't be April Fool's joke right right now maybe Corby is one of those sick people that say oh I'm busy can we celebrate the birthday on Tuesday instead I can't make it on Sunday but what you can't move a birthday we can celebrate on Sunday or we can't celebrate at all so this might be like a delayed April Fool's joke I don't know maybe that's common in the US in Sweden we take our April Schwemt väldigt serious now it's not my job to fix other people's tweaks and guides going in like changing stuff and trying to figure out where stuff went wrong same with the tweaks tweaks Sticks, tweaks. Why do I keep saying? I, I don't know. Uh, and his bad script just kept crashing. I just sent it to ChatGPT on the live stream and said, bro, what's wrong with this? And then it fixed the problem. Uh, I didn't use that version. I just, I'm not a tweaker, right? ChatGPT fixed it. I didn't. But, you know, that's not on me. With that said, the biggest problem with Chorus Guide was the bias tweaks, at least for me. It cooked my PC. It didn't even start after doing that. I mean, it turned on, but we didn't get a display. It wouldn't post into bias. I had to reset CMOS and I didn't even do the risky bonus parts with the bias weeks only the recommended in the video needs testing so following Corey's full 2025 guide coked my pc with that out of the way checking some benchmarks with my bias and oc that i had restored the fps was more or less the same as default the average and one percent got a little bit worse but the 0.2 percent was a little bit better looks more like run variance if you ask me uh checking line chart corvis looks i mean a teeny tiny bit worse but pretty much the same like the fps drops in the middle here but wait 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 remember now corvi got claimed at least corvi claimed to get an increase of 826 FPS. 
<laughs> that's basically buying a whole computer and then adding those FPS to your own benchmark. <laughs> is this just me or like am I going crazy? Isn't a total of 826 FPS increase a lot? <laughs> it seems it just seems like a lot comparing with every single FPS test and tweak that I tested in my entire life. Uh, it's getting pretty late here. I should really go to bed. But you know, we shouldn't even be looking at the FPS. We should check the percentage gained because that's gonna be more accurate when doing like a, the same tweak on different PCs and then comparing the two. But that just makes everything a lot worse. Because then my before and after should look something like this. <laughs> I mean, what is happening? <laughs> Isn't this crazy? <laughs> I mean, is it just me? I mean, what were to happen if I made my own tweak and then, yeah, I did some benchmarks and uh, this is the best I got after doing my own tweak. <laughs> no. Oh. Going back and analyzing the like default Windows versus Corvus Guide without the buy switch. Checking the Analyze tab, I'm not even going to tell you which is which here, because it doesn't matter. It's basically run variance, nothing else. It's a difference, it's 0.2%. Uh, but checking the benchmark for creative, the core ones looks a lot worse. Um, the FPS drops and like the lows are just worse. <sighs> okay, so conclusion. Don't do the tweaks, bro. Like, I don't think that it's going to be worth your time. Maybe some of these tweaks actually improve performance, uh, reduce latency, makes Windows more responsive. But like, overall, don't do this guide. I, and if you still want to do it, just make sure you benchmark before and after so you don't lose FPS the way I did. Thanks for watching. I really have to go to bed now. You've all it wrong. I don't.